thought about renting this apartment, but I'm really more of a downtown loft kind of guy. Cool. So are you in a loft now? Oh, actually, I'm uh, living with a woman in Altadena. Purely platonic. She's also my maid. <laughs> Sounds like a sweet deal. Uh, well, uh, it's pretty dope. Hello. bring you a little housewarming gift. That is so sweet. Mm. Come on in, let's open it. Great. Nice dress. Oh, this, I'm dressed like a slob today. <laughs> <laughs> the guys have been helping me set up my sound system. I've never had such good-looking technical support. Oh, pish posh. <laughs> you know, it means shucks. Shucks means shucks. Let one go once in a while. <laughs> Hey, uh, Penny, you want to hear something awesome? Yeah. Alicia is an actress just like you. That is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, trying to be, but it's so hard. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I've been out here three months, and all I've gotten is a couple of national commercials and this recurring thing on a soap. <laughs> That's why I work at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm holding out for the right part. <laughs> Alicia, what do you want as your default setting for DVDs? 5.1 Dolby or DTS? Whatever you think is best, cutie. <laughs> well, DTS has more low end, so... Okay. Uh, hey, guys, guys, you will really appreciate this. I read the best science joke on the internet. Alicia, you won't get it, but it's right up their alley. <laughs> anyway, so... This physicist goes into an ice cream parlor every week and orders an ice cream sundae for himself and then offers one to the empty stool sitting next to him. This goes on for a while until the owner finally asks him what he's doing. The man says, well, I'm a physicist. And quantum mechanics teaches us that it is possible for the matter above this stool to spontaneously turn into a beautiful woman who might accept my offer and fall in love with me. The owner then says, well, lots of single beautiful women come in here every day. Why don't you buy an ice cream for one of them and they might fall in love with you? And the physicist says, yeah, but what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little insulting, don't you think? How would I know? I'm not even sure I get it. <laughs> hey, Leonard. If you're done with the DVD player, can you set up my printer? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, hey, maybe when you're done with her printer, you could set up mine. You know, like you promised a week ago. Yeah, I'll get to it. Don't nag me. <laughs> Hello there. Who is it? <laughs> oh, hello, Penny. It's open. Come in. <laughs> Sarcasm. Well, they're all still up there. You think I can't hear them? Listen to that. Stomp, stomp, stomp. It's Wallowitz and his stacked heels that fool no one. I don't even know why I care. I don't care. All right, I cared enough to memorize that stupid joke, but that's all I care. You know, Penny, there's something that occurs in beehives you might find interesting. Occasionally, a new queen will arrive while the old queen is still in power. When this happens, the old queen must either locate to a new hive or engage in a battle to the death until only one queen remains. What are you saying? that I'm threatened by Alicia, that I'm like the old queen of the hive and it's just time for me to go? I'm just talking about bees. <laughs> They're on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bees. <gasps> I just got that physicist joke. 